and welcome to another news video. This time it's about Bedrock, uh, a Flintstones uh, reboot or sequel series, as they call it. I, I guess you can. I guess it's called a reboot, to be honest. Uh, it's it's coming to Fox uh, probably sometime next year, I believe. But no, I, maybe I'd say in two years from now because it takes more than uh, it takes more than a year a year for new shows to be developed you know when your new shows the lead and the, the time to produce is a lot less but when you're starting your show that it takes more time because you got to find cast members and stuff like that i'm sure uh cast members for the show should be announced very soon with the upfront for fox coming on monday but it turns out that the show has been greenlit before before it's officially confirmed for a few reasons uh there's a, a website that says bedrock coming soon to fox and and bedrock a primetime adult animated comedy series continuing the story of everyone's favorite modern stone age family the flintstones bedrock catches up with the flintstone family two decades after the original 1960s show on abc with fred on the brink of retirement and a 20 something year old pebbles embarking on her own career as the stone age gives way to a shiny and enlightened new bronze age the residents of bedrock will find this evolution harder than a swing from bam bam's club uh so yeah they have a website and they, they already have fox already put a website for them already uh the show is going to be produced by warner brothers uh animation so don't expect it to be looking like bento box because it's definitely not I, I think I think it'll be a good look because I, I think the show will look something unique. You know, I, I mean, I'm not saying there's anything bad about being, looking at Bento Box. I think their styles are perfectly fine. It's just that I I, I like the diversification in styles. You know, like Buster Hearts was at Titmouse, and it was nice to see a different style from the Bob's Burgers uh, Family Guy. I mean, the only show that's really different is The Simpsons because they're yellow and they look different. But like. Duncanville, The Great North, House Broken, they all look kind of similar to each other, to be honest. So, I, I, again, it's not a bad thing. I just, it, it, it's just nice to have a different variety of style. So, I'm, I, I'm, I think this will look good. Uh, there's also a social media for Bedrock. Um, uh, they, ha they have a Twitter. I'm pretty sure they have an Instagram and a Facebook, too. So, I'll probably take a look. Uh, once I finish making this video, I'll probably take a look at that. Um, their Twitter, I, I've already followed it, but uh, but it's probably they're probably gonna be adding things very soon to it. Uh, I expect this show to come in 2023. To be honest, I'd probably stay in the winter. They probably want to put it on the regular with the regular shows because because you know everyone's gonna be hyped for another Flintstones reboot. It comes almost a decade after uh, the one that Seth MacFarlane created for Fox that actually never got made. So. Uh, I, th I think this, th since this one's being made, uh, the one that Seth MacFarlane is not, um, I think it's from Elizabeth Banks. I honestly don't know who that is. Uh, who is Elizabeth Banks? Uh, seems like she, she's a producer, so she, she, she's probably, she probably created the show and then, uh, and then there's gonna be people helping her or someone else created the show and she's executive producing But uh, it'll be interesting to see where Pebbles is uh, uh, Because uh, you know the, the original show had her as a kid so it, even though it, Even though I, I feel like a lot of people are just gonna hate this just because they feel like it's a disgrace to the Flintstones, but I, I think this show will be pretty interesting to be honest because uh, but at the same time, I'd also heed caution because the last Flintstones show, uh, Yabba Dabba Dinosaurs, only got one season and it was canceled. So I'd heed caution because even though it's nostalgia, it might still fail. Uh, we've had that with Napoleon Dynamite, for example. Napoleon Dynamite, the movie was a big hit, but the, the Napoleon Dynamite show uh didn't do so hot i i believe he, yes it got unfairly screwed over but i feel like it wasn't going to do that well anyway so like i'd probably say it, even if it didn't it'd probably get maybe i'd probably only get up to the cleveland show and then it'd probably end there but i mean i guess that's a decent run but the cleveland show's not very known in a good light <laughs> like the only reason why the cleveland show got so many episodes as it is because fox owed something to seth MacFarlane. it wasn't supposed to get four seasons it was only supposed to get two 
And uh, people still consider the Cleveland show a failure. It, it wasn't a financial failure, but they consider it like a critical failure. Like, oh, everyone hated the Cleveland show. Critics hated it. Fans hated it. Like, it still is like that today. I feel like people don't respect the Cleveland show. Uh, and I kind of don't either because I think the Cleveland show is really boring. It, it does have its moments, but I, I never thought it was a good show. Well, I, I think the shows that are running now are better than the Cleveland show, to be honest. I think... The Cleveland show was very derivative. It was boring. It was lazy. Uh, you know, we already had Family Guy and American Dad. Why do we need the Cleveland show? Same thing with Border Town. Why do we need Border Town? We didn't need that. But at least this show has something different that, you know, even though it's about the Flintstones, it's about them years later. It's kind of like that King of the Hill reboot that keeps getting in talks, but it sounds like it's never going to be made. There's no network for it. They've been talking about it for years and it's never happened. Uh, Bless Our Hearts has been canceled, so I highly doubt that King of the Hill reboot is going to be made. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't think that King of the Hill reboot is coming back. But for the Flintstones, uh, I'm looking forward to this. They're probably going to announce an official green light on Monday. And uh, I think and I think the show will be interesting again. So just some quick thoughts and stuff about Bedrock. Are you excited for it? Uh, since it got its own social media page and website it's definitely getting greenlit so expect something on monday so let me know what you think and i'll see you next time goodbye